nunchucks for the warm up a little bit, and then we're going to get into a little bit of a sparring drill. We're going to end with some nunchucks. We're going to talk a little bit about um, the 17 indisputable laws of teamwork. Okay, 17 indisputable laws of teamwork. We uh, had started our book curriculum last year, and then it uh, kind of kind of stopped happening in our leadership class. So we want to make sure that we kind of get back in the habit of talking about our 17 indisputable laws. We'll start back in chapter one, um, which is actually a pretty big one, um, especially as we're are you guys ready to rock and roll? Yes, sir. All right, let's have some fun. Everybody go to attention. Yes, sir. Remember when we bow and do all that stuff with our nunchucks? Keep them with one hand. Everybody bow courtesy, nice and deep. And go to position. Sir. Student greed number one. I develop myself physically and mentally based on the spirit of personal achievement. Number two. I will only fight to defend my life and the lives of others. And number three. I achieve my fullest potential in developing knowledge, honesty, and strength. And what's your goal? Black belt excellence, sir. Excellent guys, every attention, yes, sir. Bow courtesy. All right, we're gonna take our nunchucks. We're gonna keep them together. We're gonna to start running in place. I want you to just take your nunchucks. We're gonna work a little bit on your coordination and your dexterity. Dexterity is a big word for coordination. So pretty much what we're gonna be working on here is you're gonna take your nunchucks, you're gonna to toss them side to side. Now my rule, remember, if you drop your nunchucks is what? You're gonna owe me three push-ups. Three push-ups if you drop your weapon today. Okay, so if we're tossing them here and we get a little careless and we go whoop, don't break the lamp. Mom's gonna be mad at you. Max, I'm looking at you. Your mom will probably beat you with the nunchucks she's got in her hand right now. All right, keep going, keep going. A little faster, a little faster, a little faster. All right, we're going to get into some lunges here. We're going to lunge out. We're going to lunge. We're going to go basketball style. Take your nunchucks together in between your legs. Get a good lunge. Keep going. You can just imagine Michael Jordan dribbling the basketball right in between his legs. Coming up for the shot. All right, keep it going. Keep going. Between the legs. Get a good lunge. Drop that back knee. No cheating. Come on, I'm watching you guys at home. Who's going to get a good lunge in there? There you go, Logan's. Good job. Bend that front knee, bend that back knee. Those legs should be burning a little bit. Keep it up, keep it up. All right, we're gonna go into some jumping jacks here. Coming up, as you're coming together, pass them over, ready to go. Up and over, there you go. Keep them up, over, there you go. Nice, keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Keep doing it, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna go into next. Next, we're gonna jump on our back. Well, don't jump on your back, that would be bad. But we're gonna lay on your back. From here, we're gonna do leg lifts. Up and over, okay? Go for it, down on your back, leg lifts, ready to go. Lift, pass, pass. Nice work. Come on, leadership students, keep it up. You guys got it, keep them rocking. Right, just pass them right by your butt there. We have another five, come on. Keep going, push, 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 four, three, two, one. Stand back up, yes sir. All right, nice and fast, step back. We're gonna keep the nunchuck in your best hand, okay? So whichever your best hand is, and we're gonna put the best hand in front, okay? So I'm right-handed, I'm putting my right hand in front, okay? So step back, reset, hey Good, start bouncing around the balls of your feet. Start bouncing around. A couple of months ago, I had the opportunity to go down to exclusive martial arts and test Master Young and uh, Master Sager for their next ranks. I tested Master Young with Master Galloway. We tested him up to six degree black belt, but uh, he and Master Sager did some nunchuck sparring. And uh, we haven't done that in a while. I thought it might be fun for you guys to kind of work a little bit, not just on the showy part of our nunchucks, but also when we actually want to use our nunchucks for real, okay? So from here, when we start with our nunchucks, we don't start them in a stable position like this, okay? This is a dynamic weapon. It's got to be dynamic. It's got to be moving. So I want you to open your nunchuck up while we're moving here. Get your figure eight going. Get it going. In and out. See if you can move with it. Think about like a sparring, like your footwork, but keep your figure eight going. Why do we use the figure eight? because it's constantly moving, and it's between me and the person I might be attacking with here, right? So if they come in to attack me, they gotta get through this little buzzsaw. Okay, so it keeps going. Now from here, 
can't do much from here other than strike, so we gotta stop it. So as we're moving, I want your work to catch right by your hip. Now this is basic nunchucks, right? If you guys did nunchucks with me back when you were an orange belt or the first time you ever did it, we just simply worked our strike and our catch. But now once you start moving with it, makes it a lot harder, right? More challenging. Figure eight, catch. Figure eight, catch. Keep moving with it. Good. Keep it going. Figure eight, catch. Boom. All right. Now once we caught it, we got to do something with it. So we're going to strike. Now remember, we never, ever, ever strike at straight angles with our nunchucks. Why? Because if I strike straight down, it's going to come back and hit me in the head. I strike straight across, it's going to come back and hit me, okay? So we're going to strike at angles. Think about X's. You can go up, you can go down, right? Okay? There's that famous video, I think it's fake, but of like Bruce Lee playing uh, table tennis against himself, but he was using nunchucks. Pretty sure it's fake, but watch him. There's very few straight-handed strikes. Most of them are angles, coming up, coming down, coming up, coming down. Okay? So now, go back to your figure eight. We're going to catch. We're going to strike and catch. Okay? Figure eight, catch, strike. Figure eight, catch, strike. Could you go the other way? Catch by your armpit. Figure eight. If I strike down, I'm coming into my hip. If I go figure eight and I come through, I can catch underneath my, underneath my arm. I can move from here. Boom, fire that strike out. Keep it up. What's my other hand doing? Same it would if I was using my sticks. This is called my sacrifice hand. I'm striking, okay? I'm gonna keep it moving. Keep striking. Good, nice. Work it to catching, strike and catch. Good. Catch under your arm. All right, let's work some passes from here. Stay in still for a minute, just to work over the shoulder. Catch, shoulder pass, shoulder pass. Shoulder pass, remember? On this one, the hand's coming in front. The other one I can do is my behind the back one, but for now, if we were in real combat, the pass I would use is this over the shoulder one with my hand here. I don't wanna get caught with both hands behind my back, okay? I wanna use my hand if I need to. Good, keep it up. Now start moving. If you can do it standing still, you gotta be able to do it moving, right? Some of you guys look like you're waltzing, like you're practicing your your ballroom dances around your, there you go, keep it up. Keep it up, keep moving. Think about Michelangelo when he was fighting the shredder. He didn't get to stand still fighting the shredder. Man had to move, right? Coming up with a strike, 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 strike. Come up, boom, pass. Give me some strikes, both sides. Boom, up, catch. Good, go back to your figure eight. Figure eight, still moving with it. Give me an over the shoulder pass. Ready, pass, go. Up, over the shoulder. Moving with your left hand now. Figure eight. Whoa, it's like walking and chewing gum for some of us. Walking and chewing gum. We're moving. We've got that figure eight going in our non-dominant hand. Keep moving. All right, catch. Together, attention. Bow courtesy. All right, we're not allowed to touch these to the floor, but you got 10 push-ups. You can slide them on your wrists. You can do it over your neck. I don't care, but 10 push-ups. I want your nunchucks to the floor. Ready, go. How are we going to do it? Okay, there we go. Nobody decided to, like, throw it up and see if they could do 10 push-ups before it came down. That's smart. That's good. That's good. Keep it up. Good push-ups, though. Oh, uh, I see some knees on the floor. Who's giving me the wimpy push-ups in there? So oh, come on, back straight. All right, when you're done, start running in place. Get it back in your dominant hand, circle backwards. Circling backwards. Keep it up, keep it up, spin. Nice and fast, nice and fast. Get him going, get him going. Now, if I want to change direction and I'm spinning backwards, anybody want to show me? Where do I have to touch if I'm going to change direction? I think Mr. Will just showed it to me. I think I'm going up over my shoulder here, right? So if I'm changing the direction, I'm coming up over my shoulder. I'm going to start spinning forward now. Keep them going. Spin them forward. Nice. Yep. Keep it up. Keep it up. 
How's that wrist feeling? Is that forearm starting to burn a little bit? If you got foam nunchucks, it might not. But if you got wooden ones and you're working hard, that wrist burn a little bit. Keep it up. All right, we're going to change direction. We're coming underneath. Up to the armpit. Spin it back. Switch hands. Keep running in place. Spin it backwards. We're going on the other side. Anybody feel a little goofy? No? Hazlin, you good? Me too. Okay, all right. Keep it up. Keep it up. See if I can't trick you guys. All right, bring them up. Spin them forward. A little more challenging. Keep it up. Keep it running, though. Keep running. No stopping. Speed it up. Speed it up. Come on. Come on, leadership students. All right, when we change direction, we're going underneath the arm. We got three, two, one. Change. Bring it up. Bring it out to the front. Nice work. Take your feet shoulder apart. Bring them straight up. Stretch down. Good. We're holding one nunchuck in each hand or one stick in each hand. Hold it. All right. Take those feet a little further apart, just a little bit. And we're going to stretch over to your left leg. Stretch it over. Again, one nunchuck in each hand. Stretch them both down. All right, while we're stretching here, stay low, go the other way. Hold it nice and strong there. Show me your balance. We're gonna hold it for another three seconds. Good, bring it back to the middle. Again, your nunchucks can't touch the floor here. Slide as low as you can in the splits. Slide it down there. Slide it down there. Nice work. Get down there low. All right, while you guys are in splits, let's talk a little bit about our 17 Indisputable Laws of Teamwork. So that's our book that uh, I introduced to you guys about a year ago, I think, and we started working on it, and then uh, things kind of changed a little bit and didn't have a chance to get back to it. So we're talking about Chapter 1, and we're talking about being a good team member. Being a good team member, you can't be a good leader if you can't be a good team member. Would everybody agree with that? Hold your splits, by the way. I'm watching you guys. Hold your splits. No cheating. We're stretching here. We can do two things at once. I know we can. All right, hold it. Hold the splits there. This is a good opportunity to get better. All right, so our first law is called the law of significance. And why I thought that this might be a good one for you guys to think about right now is because the law of significance is one small person doing one small thing can have a big impact. So most of us are staying at home right now and, and trying to flatten the curve and doing all that stuff, right? Okay? If we all do our one little piece, what happens? Big things happen, right? So small hinges can swing big doors if they work hard enough. So that's what we're talking about. Being a member of a team is knowing that everybody's role on the team doesn't matter if you're the leader or the janitor or, or the, the first officer or whatever it is, right? It doesn't matter. You've got to be working hard because every role is important. All right, so that's what we're talking about this week, the law of significance. All right, everybody, stand up for a fast yes, sir. Fast is relative. Oh, Michelle beat all of you guys up, by the way. She, she really beat you guys. All right, take your nunchucks. For now, we're going to set them off to the side. We're going to get a little bit of a sparring drill in, and then we're going to come back to it. So everybody, attach it fast. Yes, sir. Bow courtesy. Let's step back and put your right foot back behind you. Ready? Step back. Step. All right, everybody start bouncing around. Now, we've been talking a little bit, if you guys have been with me in our All Belt classes, about uh, the tournament that would have been coming up, and I think it would be coming up like next weekend. Yeah, that's okay, right? We can still train for it. So, when we're talking about point sparring, point sparring from here is about closing distance. The person who's going to go from point A to point B the fastest and hit the other person. Would you guys agree with that? Yes, sir? All right. Okay, so it's not about who's going to hit the hardest. Okay? It's not about who's got the cleanest technique. It's about who's going to get that point first. Okay? So here's what I want you to do. we got to work on getting off the line. So everybody, hands up for me. I want you to imagine that you got your rival. If you've been to a couple of tournaments, everybody's got that one person that you'd love to see maybe sick that day, right? Or the person when they show up, man, you're like, man, I'm really going to work a lot harder against this person, right? So you got to have that rival. Maybe it's somebody in class, okay? All I want you to do is from here, when I say fight, okay? 
we're gonna come off with a sliding round kick. So you're gonna take your front leg, you're gonna slide in with a round kick as fast as you can, okay? So one more time, get ready. When I say fight, you're gonna slide out with your front leg round as fast as you can. Are you guys ready to serve? All right, let's see it, ready? And, bridge it air. Oh, just checking, okay, ready? And fight, aya! Good, you got to go ahead and come back one more time. All right, we'll follow up with more here in a second, but I just want you guys to close that distance. So don't step and bump. We're doing our slide. So when I say fight, boom, slide it in. You got to pick up your front foot and slide. Ready? And fight. Good, one more time, a little faster. Ready? And fight. Yeah. Good, good. A little quicker, a little quicker. Ready? And by the way, you can't do it if your heels are on the floor. You've got to be up on the balls of your feet already. Ready and go. Fight. Aya. Good, good. Now, we're going to assume that we didn't score on that first kick, right? We just closed the distance. So once I come in with that round, I set it down. I could, and we've been working on following like a back fist reverse bunch or a shuffle jam or back fist carry back fist. We've done all those combos the last couple weeks. But today, let's do a little different. Let's follow with another kick. So I'm going to slide in with the round. I'm going to come in with a bump round. And I'm going to follow with a back leg round. OK? So this is going to be a little more Olympic style type Taekwondo. So no hands on it. We're going to come in, slide in round. Bump up round. And then follow back leg round. And that might go to the back of the head. That might go to the body, okay? One more time. we got to be quick off the line. Ready? And go. Slide round. Bump round. Follow round. Good, good. So that's assuming they're going, ah, ah, oh, my God. Right? Okay, one more time. Ready? When I say go, kick, kick, kick. Okay? On your marks. Start bouncing. Ready? And fight. One, two. Good, good. Working all three again. Ready? Back to your line. Get ready. We're going to come right off the line here. Ready? And fight. One, two. Good, good. One more time this time. Do it as fast as you can off the line. Ready? And by the way, I'm still moving. Are you still moving? Ready? And fight. One, two. Good, switch sides now, switch sides. Switch sides, the other foot now, ready? Sliding with the round, bump round, back leg round. Ready? And fight, one, two, ah! Coming on back, coming on back. Ready? Last one, we're coming in, we're gonna score these points right here to win. Ready? And fight, slide. Bump, kick, ah! Good, good. Last one, last one. On your marks, get set, and go. One, two, ah! Now, did you have your hands up the whole time? Yes, sir. Gotta have those hands up. You never know what's gonna happen, right? At least one hand by your face, one hand for your body. And elbows should be in almost all the time. So this hand might move, okay? But it's not lazy, it's there to protect my body. If I've got somebody who likes to kick me, that's where this hand goes. Some of you guys like to punch. Well, guess what? My hand comes up here if you like to punch a lot, right? So it just depends on who you're fighting, okay? So let's keep moving with it now. This time, let's change the tempo of it a little bit. So I want you to do your first kick, you're gonna slide in, I want you to kick my hand. Ready? Slide in, round kick, ready and kick, one. Boom. Now, give me the second one, bump up and round, go. There you go, throw that back leg right here, ready to go. Good, okay, slide it back one more time, slide it back one more time. So instead of going as fast as you can this time, we're gonna set it up. So the first one, I'm gonna slide in. Eh, it wasn't there. Bump round, and then boom, follow back round. So the first one, fast, 
The second one, a little slower. The third one, fast. Ready? And first one, go. Slide in one. One, two, and three. Good. Setting it up. Ready? A little faster on one. Ready? And slide in one. Good. Bump two. Pop it up three. Boom. You got it. You got it. Last time. Ready? And slide in. Ready? And go one. Bump it up two. And three. Hey yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. So next time we're in sparring, I want you guys working those kicks. We normally what we do is we say everybody spar, and we see all these great punches, or we see great punches and kicks, but we only see one kick at a time. I want to see those kicks followed by other kicks, okay? All right, grab your nunchucks one more time. Yes, sir. Grab your nunchucks. All right, let's work some passes. Once we start working in our double nunchuck here next week or so, we don't get to do as many passes when we're working double nunchuck because both hands are full. So let's work some of those passes today, just a quick review on them. So let's work the over the shoulder pass, bringing them up and over. And again, I don't want you standing still for this. If you guys can kind of move, the more you can move, it's kind of like when you're doing your sticks, when you're doing gut gut. I don't like to see you standing still doing gut gut. I want everybody kind of moving around a little bit. To be good. Some of you got ants in your pants anyway, so. All right, keep moving. All right, so now let's take this, and instead of catching in front, let's catch behind. Straight back behind. Straight back. Keep it up. Good. So now remember, when you're doing your passes, you want to have that hand basically waiting for it. Magically, usually, if your hand's there, it'll just kind of go into it sometimes. You just got to have it there to close. Good, keep it up, keep it up. Now, we're gonna also work a little bit of a nunchuck form. You won't be tested on the nunchuck form, but we'll be playing with our nunchuck form a little bit too. And keep working on it there. All right, going over the neck now, around the neck. So we're gonna start like you're giving yourself a hug. So you can hold it out, come around. And remember, you wanna put the chain of the rope on the back of your neck. So I'm coming through, catching. Bring it out the other way. Bring it up and over. Bring it out the other way. Okay. And again, this should be a review for you guys today. It's just been a couple of months for most of you to really work your nunchucks. I just want to give you a little review before we get into really spinning them probably next week. Also, I wanted to make sure you guys kind of had a place that you thought you could spin them in too. So we uh, weren't taking out windows and walls and lamps and stuff. Okay, all right. Next pass we're going. We're gonna go behind the back, but we're going horizontally here. Boom, from the side. Bring it up. Boom. Bring it straight down by your belt. Bring it up. Up. Good. Good. Bring it up and over. Very nice. You guys got that one easy. That's the easy one coming between the legs and up. You can switch. Uh, in the legs, yep. Nice work. Good, right in. Right back up. Right back up. All right. Mix them all together now. Mix them all together. Let me give you one minute, real quick. You got around the neck, you've got over the shoulder, you got behind the back, horizontally, vertically, between the legs. Go ahead, keep them passing, no stopping. Keep the nunchuck spinning the whole time. Keep it going. Try not to repeat, you know my rules. You can do it every third or fourth one, but you can't repeat the same one twice. You can't go over the shoulder, over the shoulder. This is boring. Speed it up, speed it up. If you can do it, start moving with it. Around the neck, you can always add an extra spin. Boom, extra spin behind the back. Spin to the outside, touch back behind. Spin between the legs. Nice. All right, we got another 10 seconds. Keep them going. Keep it spinning. We got 10. Keep them going. Nine. Eight. Good. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Time. All right. Next one. I want one minute here. You're going to do nothing but freestyle nunchucks with single nunchucks here. So you can get them spinning. Figure eight. Catch. Strike. Hold the shoulder passes. Okay. Just keep them spinning. Spin. Strikes. Passes. Ready? One minute. And go. Try not to repeat. Keep them going. 
up, over, boom, there you go, between the legs, up, catch, up, figure eight, spin, nice, keep them up, keep them up, trying to make sure I don't break my microphone while I'm doing all the fancy nut chucking skills, Woo, keep it up. And by the way, if you haven't already, and you want to get into your hand rolls, remember your hand rolls, we'll do those a little bit more as we go, but you can get those going too. There you go, we got another 10, 15 seconds, keep them going. Keep them catching, keep them going, keep spinning. We got three, two, one, and time. Beautiful, nice work there, nice work. Okay, we didn't work on it very much here, but that hand spin, if you guys wanna do the over the hand spin, just give you a couple extra things that you guys can practice a little bit between now and next week when we start picking up the double chucks. But hand spin from here, you wanna hold your hand up by the rope or by the chain, you're gonna get it up over that hand. When it comes through, you gotta let go and then catch the other side, okay? So when it comes through, spins and catch. Spins and catch, you can do it horizontally, Vertically, doesn't matter. Yeah, you can do it backwards, forwards, okay? If you do it one hand, you wanna see if you can get it going in the other hand too, okay? One hand will be a little bit easier than the other, and that's okay. You're gonna practice both sides. Then, if you guys have your double chucks, and you wanna start practicing that stuff a little bit before next week, you guys can get going with that too, okay? I don't think we'll have any shortage of fun stuff to play with over the next week. Would you guys agree, yes sir? Okay, we'll also start working on that, uh, that nunchuck form, okay? Keep spinning, keep it going. All right, keep it going. Roll it over one hand, rolling it back. Again, for my leadership students, that might be easy for you, and that's okay. You can roll it through, and you can go over your leg here. So touch, 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 so you can speed it up that way too a little bit. So you guys can play with it, do it a couple different ways. Because if you've ever seen the movie Tombstone, Remember when Doc Holliday and uh, um, uh, Michael Bean's uh, character, they, they're in the saloon and, and the guy's got the gun and he does the fancy thing and then Doc Holliday does it with the, with the cup. Same thing, like really get it spin and see if you guys can get really fancy with it and we'll see if we can have a little competition going via Zoom here, it'll be fun. All right, everybody catch you, yes sir. Bow courtesy. Awesome, good leadership class today, guys. Way to work hard. So a couple of things we worked on today. We worked on moving while doing some of our basic nunchucks. So if you guys are getting used to being able to do the simple stuff, make it more complicated about moving like you're sparring, okay? We worked a little sparring combination, working off the line with our round kick, round kick, back with round combo. And then we're working our spins and our passes and all that stuff. Get ready, leadership students next week, make sure you got two nunchucks with you, okay? Two nunchucks, hopefully. Uh, and you want to try to make them match if you can, so you don't have one wooden one and one plastic one or something like that because they're hard to spin. So just try to have two uh, two matching ones. Um, if you need some, we've got some at the school. You can come by and pick them up when you guys pick up your, your belts if you want. And again, we, we talked about that at the beginning. Our graduation, um, anytime in the next two days, will be uh, Thursday tomorrow, 4 to 5.30, or on Friday from 5 to 6. You guys can come by any of those times, okay? All right, guys, nice work. Everybody attention, yes, sir. Bow courtesy. Oh, we also talked about our first law. First law of teamwork. Anybody remember? The law of significance. Very good. Hands bent your back. Everybody's role is important. Black Belt Creed. As a dedicated student of the martial arts, I will live my life by the principles of Black Belt. Modesty, courtesy, integrity, perseverance, self-control, and indomitable spirit. And glad, congratulations one more time to everybody who tested. Did an awesome job this weekend. Congratulations to Miss Stacy, Miss Heather, Mr. Will on your certified secondary Black Belt. Guys, that's awesome. Everybody back to attention. Yes, sir. Well, yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, pretty close, huh? Bow courtesy. And position. Sir, personal, personal team, 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 team. team.